Alright, here is a quick guide to Futaba's Palace boss. I only recorded one third of the fight because I forgot to turn on my recorder on time. So I will try to be brief and only focus on important mechanics here. At the beginning of the fight you can't do much, just keep your guys alive while occasionally DPSing the boss. Futaba will go in, summon Ballista and now you can do proper damage. You need to have one person on Ballista at all times, while the rest of your guys should focus on defending, which means put your evasion up on every single character, that way you can avoid a lot of despair attacks. You need to have Makoto in party because Makoto has energy shower that will remove despair. Also it's good to have a couple of items like a relax gel that will remove despair as well in case Makoto is uh, despaired. It's also good to have cat in your party. The cat can remove dizzy. Dizzy is problematic because if the boss dizzies some of the characters and then does the slam attack it's a technical attack which will do a lot more damage. And Morgana can remove that with Mepatra skill, something like that. When you hit the boss with Ballista, you should have three people DPSing her, while one person should heal up the rest of the party. That way you will be ready for anything that the boss comes up with in the next stage. When boss goes up, when you can't see the boss anymore, Wait for Futaba signal, she will say when the boss is coming in hot, when she says that, go for the guard. You need to guard with every single character, otherwise boss will kill you in one shot. And that's it, use energy shower and items to cure despair, use Morgana and Makoto in your group, Morgana should use Mepatra to get rid of the dizzy effect, and also use Izanagi's cross slash, it can do a thousand damage in one hit when boss is down. Be defensive when boss is flying and you can't damage it properly and be offensive when the boss is down. That's it. I hope I helped you out. See you soon.